Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today with another Ark Survival Evolved video on the modded server. And like you see in the background, my castle PvP base is not finished, but at least it's completely closed in. Also, we have a roof. Um, yeah, uh, but I have some sad news. I lost uh, Magin. The Pteranodon we got from Little Eagle, and uh, I also lost uh, Air Force 1 3 or Air Force 13 um, to a Giga. And I'm going to show you where I lost them. But first, the good news is, even though I lost those two birds, I managed to get the Giga. It was a level 112. It killed me once, that's also the reason why I'm not wearing flak anymore, because all my flak got destroyed and is in here to be repaired. And uh, I kind of have metal now, oh, I have a little metal in here now. It won't be enough to repair everything, but at least I can start to stock it up. Uh, I could. I was smelting quite a lot of metal, but I used the metal to actually build this one, this thing over here, the industrial forge. Which is electric, uh, uses electricity, that's why I placed it over here. I also have a kibble cooker, that's a, 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 a mod we have on the server. You can put in any dino eggs you want in here and you convert them, uh, three dino eggs convert, convert into one generic egg. And uh, with meat you make like a generic, generic meat paste, uh, with a lot of berries you make this, uh, this stuff. and. Uh, I went back and got all my dodo eggs, which managed to give me three generic eggs so far. Uh, I need to tame a couple of birds, and uh, unfortunately, yeah, I'm probably going to do raptors and a couple of orgies, because that one in here will work out nicely. We have this egg collector, um, which collects poo as well. Or I'm not quite sure if this one does it or if it's automatically collected by this uh, automated compost bin we feed in uh, wood in here which produces thatch the thatch gets then automatically fed into this large compost bin and the compost bin then uh, produces a fertilizer which will be stored automatically in this fertilizer silo and i started this because i want to go and actually build i think i'm going to build my farm over here I'm not quite sure yet, this side or the other side. I might even make a doorway in here and put the farm outside, build a real farmhouse with uh, the greenhouse stuff. And I'm definitely or pretty certain going to put in a stargate over here. Uh, but for that I actually need to check quickly something. I need to build the ancient bench. I need quite a lot of metal, crystal and electronic I have but the metal is the thing to do. And for the metal, I would really like to get an ankylo, and for the ankylo, I need an ankylo food. Uh, one, I could make three if I have the generic paste, and I need to get into the vegetables. So that's kind of, of bad to do that. As well, as you see, I got in my inventory, I got the Dream Machine, which uses Nightmare Rounds. With the Nightmare Rounds, uh, we produce in here. We actually could do four, but four is not a lot. But the Nightmare Round does 6,000 Torpor over, 30, uh, over three seconds. And as well as I, I haven't tried it out. But I'm, I already produced a long neck rifle. It's just a simple one, a primitive one. It's not that grad, great, but we have the ammo in here. And I would like to do the 30cc um, narco arrows, which I can do <laughs> three because I don't have any rare flowers. I need to find the swamp again and get a, get a herbivore to actually collect quite a lot of of this stuff, uh, of the rare flowers and also the rare mushroom, mushrooms because for the nightmare rounds we need rare mushrooms. I still got a couple of thousand but I need to replenish them. I took them out of the uh, of the community area. There was there were a few. I didn't take all of them but I did take uh, about half a stack. I can show you upstairs as well if we go up here. The ladder placement isn't ideal, and for PvP purposes, I need to lock that off as well. But I 
put battlements all around here, which is nice, but I think they're a little, little bit too high. I mean, sometimes you are able to jump on them, between them. Oh yeah, and the corner pieces you are. There is a corner right outside my door. Great. And now I can actually show you where I downed the Giga. The Giga spawned... Uh, whoops. Ouch, that hurt it. The Giga spawned all the way down there. Uh, he didn't attack my 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 T-Rex. My T-Rex got hurt here at the saddles from two birds I lost. The T-Rex actually got hurt that badly because I always jump off the cliffs, which isn't a good thing to do. You all can agree with that. It hurts. The fall damage is actually the only damage I took on this T-Rex. The rest was... Yeah, the rest I managed to do quite nicely. I uh, just saw that we have some more semantic paste. I'm not going to convert it right now because I have enough polymer, I think. How much polymer do I have left over here? 80, uh, 26, that's not quite a lot. Would give me 26 narc darts. However, we are going to take out the Giga for a quick spin uh, to show you where it actually is. Is this Torpor still rising? Ah, oh, damn it, I, I fed him way too much narcotics, guys. I was afraid he's going to wake up and I pumped the narcotics. Where is the bro? There is the Carno. There was the Carno. Carno is gone. There is another Carno. And I have to say, with the Giga, it's kind of fun to run around. You kill everything in one bite. Well, not everything for uh, alphas. Uh, alphas take me two or three bites till they're done. But still, it's quite a quite a lot of fun. So we park the Giga back in here, and I'm actually going to do a little bit of base maintenance. I need to get some metal in here and and so on. Uh, so I bring you guys back a little bit later. And I'm back, and uh, sorry guys, uh, I wanted to show you where, where I downed the Giga. I completely forgot. The Giga eventually went up on this slope, and I was shooting him from the battle mount up there. And he passed out actually exactly by this foundation. But to where he started actually, he was... Come on, let me in here. Was... Down there, you see this is a big rock in this valley part over there. He was roaming around down here. I mean, my T-Rex is fast enough to get past him. And I went past him about three times. And then I flew out with Megan, uh, landed her on, on the rock over there and wanted to shoot him. Of course, I jumped off the rock when I jumped off Megan. Uh, so I grabbed Air Force One Three and I flew over there, whistled Megan to follow, I landed here, killed about two scorpions, which attacked my birds. And I thought this is high enough, because I couldn't get up with the Rex over here. I have to go on this side over there. Um, yeah, the Giga managed to get up here quite easily and wrecked my face. And of course I had to respawn, and my birds were on aggressive. And yeah, that resulted in the death of the two birds. So, uh, afterwards, uh, I came down with the T-Rex, I, I did, you see the T-Rex is very fast. I ran ar around to the other side, I can, this, I can ascend uh, to, with the T-Rex over here. He's quite a climber on this slope. And uh, the Giga was following me, but stuck down there and ate a couple of uh, Carnos. Uh, I went inside up up there and I shot him with 12 nightmare rounds, which wasn't enough. I also needed to use, I think I had 87 arrows and now I have 12 left narco arrows. So the torpor on this guy is quite, was quite high, but still I managed. So and now I'm doing a cat again guys and I'll be back later. And I'm back guys and I thought I'd bring you guys back while well, me trying to build a uh, What's it called? Greenhouse. Uh, I know I should have moved one further out because it's like me. But I can't be bothered. It's my PvP base and for that it is good. Well, PvP... I'm, I'm going to use it for all. It's my be going to be my main base and PvP base. So... You see, um, a foundation, a castle foundation is roughly uh, three by three. 
but we are not going to the complete edge, so it could be a 4x4. Four four. But it seems to be working pretty good here. Uh, 6. Inventory. I didn't grab the roofs, of course I didn't. It's kind of a no, not, no clipping or it has no collision there, which is kind of sad, but kind of okay. At the same time, just because it is like it is. So, actually, we're going to close that. We're going to go in here because then I can fit through here. Perfect. Because I needed this place afterwards. Oops, not nine. Eight, I want it. Just one high. Yeah, what the hell. It's, no, it's, like I said, it's my main, main base PvP base. And I think I need to close that door in order to place it. Uh, no. Yep. So it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to win a prize in uh, nice looking or headroomiest thing ever. <laughs> so I can walk past here. Good. Now let me check. I have a water pump. I have a well. I got some pipes and a sprinkler. So if I place eight i can place eight over here no snap point okay it needs a snap point then that's okay we are going to get them a snap point but first we are going to grab all our um what's it called oh, i didn't put it over here i put it over there all my crop blood blueprints no my my large crop plots I made 10 large crop plots I'm not going to use all I think I have room for nine I'm not a hundred percent sure we will see that here in a second I hope we have room for nine so we close this and we are going to close this so six is my crop plot don't tell me ah, okay I was just too close to the wall I was going to say don't tell me we can build on on the castle foundations that would have sucked a little further a little back a little in. yep and a little bit at it again it should fit exactly in here like I said it should why doesn't it can I just place four? That would really, really suck. Come on. What if I place it like this? Oh crap. <laughs> I couldn't jump on it there. Okay. Doesn't fit like this. So if I go over here. Yeah. Uh, the other one we are going to put over here. And hopefully we can fit one more in here. Actually, it would be nice to fit two more, but two we are definitely not going to fit. There it was for a second there. Why did I move? Come on, come on. Please, game, let me place it. So like this, it's now it's like, please let me place it. I could place it there for a, a second ago. You all saw that as well, right? It was green for a very short amount of time. Definitely not like this. 
little bit out, a little bit out. A little bit closer, nope. A little bit, little bit, little bit. Oh boy. In between here. Us. <laughs> New guy on the server has some troubles with the high levels like I had in the beginning. Ah, oh, boy. Obstructed. I know it's obstructed, but it fitted a moment ago, so please let me put it over here again. Frenetically clicking? It doesn't help. Ah. <laughs> uh, there it is! Ooh, lucky. Definitely not fitting one over here. Might fit one here in the middle. Let's give it a try. Definitely not going to fit one in between here, right? Please? No, unfortunately not. Okay, so we go into the inventory. We need the straight metal pipe. We put them over here. So six and how far out do we get here? Pipe is obstructed. Uh, place it like this. Let me check how far out it comes. Ooh, I'm good. <laughs> I kept moved through here before, didn't I? Ah, but before this door was open. Probably. Yes, this door was it. So, six again. And now we put eight. Doesn't reach the ground, huh? Nope. <laughs> so that's not helpful. That means we need to put... Uh, Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we need to put a decline. So uh, structures, pipes, metals, um, incline. Yeah, I think that should be good. And we have a server lag. Teeny beeny. Yeah, we do. Perfect. So we take this over here. Give it another try. Would be cool if it works. And seven. Yep. And now eight. Water pump. I don't know. Doesn't say anything. Is it irrigated? Doesn't look like it. Um, what if I take the well and I put the castle well like over here, like this, um, crap, I just can't demolish it, mm, that's bad, six, because the pipe would snap on that. It's still not irrigated, is it? <laughs> Inventory. Here we have the sprinkler. Sprinkler is seven. Does it need... Oh crap, he needs power. <laughs> Pick up the sprinkler for, for now. Um, I'm going to do a quick tap so I see if it is working or not. Um, yeah. I have to do a metal one because I'm all out of stone. That's good. So 
So inventory. Um, I didn't pay, take it with me. <laughs> ah, that's yeah. That wasn't smart, guys. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, where is it? There it is. We take it out. We run back. And then we put the tap back down. Inventory and the use item. Not irrigated. Ha 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 ha. Um, F. Uh, the well crank um, E access inventory. Uh, maybe I have to be do it like this. Hang on, uh, eight. There we go. At least this is working now. Ah, uh, and now the pipe is irrigated. I see. I see, I see, I see. Well, um, we are going to destroy this one. I can pick it up right. Demolish. Uh, pick up the water pump. Then demolish this. And then demolish that. And yeah, I have to demolish both parts here. Demolish this and demolish that. Well, that's two hours of uh, an hour and a half of material collecting and crafting up the stuff for the drain. Well. Ooh, that's frustrating guys <laughs> well I'm going to end my video here I'm going to uh, do that all back up again off camera and hopefully have it in working condition and next time I bring you guys back and doing the next video so anyway guys thank you very much for watching I hope you did like this video if you did please hit the like button you can also subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter the links are in the video description and like always, guys, one more time, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.